Hey guys, this is Andres Smirnov reporting for the Fast Lane Car from the 2016 New York International Auto Show. And behind me is the 2017 Acura MDX made its debut here at the show. And there's a very interesting addition, the Sport Hybrid model. And everything you ever wanted to know segment is coming up right now. So here we are uh, with the 2017 MDX, uh, basically a mid-cycle model change for us, but an incredibly extensive one. The most noticeable thing is new grille um, that we introduced in Detroit on our Precision Concept. But on top of that, under the hood of this, of this vehicle here, this is a new hybrid model for the MDX. So it's very exciting, uh, balancing 35 more horsepower. This is a 325 horsepower car, but seven miles per gallon better. So it's a, a really exciting new model for us. Yeah, can you go over the drive line? I mean, I think this is kind of where the big story is. Right, right. Yeah, so we, we pride ourselves on having um, one of the most advanced uh, hybrid systems in, in the industry, uh, combining both hybrid, uh, hybrid fuel economy, lots of horsepower, and then all-wheel drive and torque vectoring. And so this system here basically has three different motors. There's one that's uh, sandwiched between the uh, the engine uh, of the car and the and the seven-speed DCT transmission. But more importantly, there's two in the rear, and each of them independently controls each of the rear wheels and can add or subtract power basically uh, for handling, for traction, and for all, all kinds of different situations. And it enables the customer to have an incredibly smooth ride, but more importantly, a really fun ride. And so what's the total horsepower number? So total horsepower is 325, okay. uh, about, about roughly a little bit less than 70 horsepower from electric and the remainder from the, uh, from the gas motor. Should we go inside? Is there yeah, a let's do it. in there? Let's do it. Okay. updates on the inside. What we really focused on on the interior of this car was making it more premium. Um, adding those kind of little luxury touches that customers are looking for. And so probably the, the most obvious thing is the seats. Um, so these seats have been completely redesigned. So they've now got a, a, an interesting stitch pattern, some, some uh, different uh, color uh, piping on the side of them. Uh, this is a new interior color for us, this, this beautiful brown color. Uh, on top of that, we've put some of the most uh, premium wood that, that we could get our hands on uh, in the car. And so this is, this is a wood we call olive ash. Uh, it's a beautiful satin finish. And so this will be on all of the, uh, all of the upper models uh, of the MDX. Mm -hmm. um, some new features. Uh, there's a new surround view camera system that en enables the customer to get a 360 degree view uh, all around them. And one of the things that, that we're really excited about, and this might be kind of invisible to the customer to some degree, but, but we're actually uh, putting our AccuWatch system standard on this car. So what that means is not just crash avoidance technology, but even uh, what some people call semi-autonomous driving. So actually the ability to keep a car in its lane, to change the speed of the car, um, standard on every MDX, even, even, the, uh, even the lowest priced uh, model of it. So um, in the regular V6 will still be available as That's a separate right. option, correct? Exactly. So we'll have basically three three different choices, uh, regular V6 with two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, uh, or SH all-wheel drive, uh, and then of course this hybrid, uh, which is a three-liter V6 as opposed to a 3.5-liter V6 and only available in the hybrid all-wheel drive system. And there are captain chairs in the back. That's right. right. Yeah. So that's actually something new, new for MDXs as well. And we... Um, we tried to kind of uh, give it our special take, and so we designed this um, really interesting center console here that uh, mimics the uh, design of the front one. And so not only do you have the captain chair styling, the, the ability to get into the back seat, but more importantly, uh, you've got all this new storage and a very kind of premium looking uh, console there for, for those rear seat customers. And uh, so, but the interior and exterior dimensions are the same, correct? That's right, that's right, yeah, very, very, very tiny, uh, uh, changes to overall length just with the with the new bumper but basically the the physical size of the vehicle is the same and one of the cool things um, on that note is in this hybrid we actually designed uh, this car from the very beginning uh, uh, back in back in 2014 with this hybrid in mind and so with the hybrid system there's absolutely no packaging uh, detriment at all so no change to cargo volume no change to passenger space at all so so it's pretty much invisible to the customer they can still carry all their all their people all their gear uh, with no problem and is it available also with a bench in the back? That's right, okay. yes. And so, and so you can get it with or without the captain's chairs. Okay. Um, and when is it going to be available? And have you announced pricing yet? So we have not announced pricing, but don't expect much of a change from the current model. And it'll be available uh, later this year, uh, starting around the summer. A lot of very interesting numbers on the new MDX Hybrid. 
325 total horsepower and fuel efficiency that's up to 7 mpg better in the city. That's really huge. Go back to tflcar.com for more news, views and real world reviews and complete coverage from the 2016 New York International Auto Show. You know, as a car designer, you wait an entire career just to touch an iconic project like this. From 100 yards away, this distinctive fastback silhouette ignites the heart of a driver enthusiast and draw a pure statement within our Kodo design philosophy. When you look at the car, the first thing you kind of notice is uh, a lot of horizontal dynamism. 